Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up retro achievements, and it's actually a really awesome thing. It adds achievements to your old retro games such as SNES, NES, Genesis, and a whole bunch of other consoles. On the page itself, you can check out which games are supported and what achievements they have by going to site pages. Just choose the console that, whichever console you'd like to see the achievements for. And not only does it catalog your achievements, but you can see your achievements on the site and compare them with other people's as well. Sort of like the same way that you would with Xbox Live. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is create yourself an account. So on the top right hand side of the page, click on create new account. After you've created an account, check your email and verify your account with the email that they've sent you and log into the website. Now that we're on the site, we can go to the download page and this page contains emulators that have retro achievements built into it. So you must use a retro achievements emulator to get the achievements. So choose whichever emulator you'd like to download, I already have mine downloaded here, and go ahead and download it. After you've done that, go ahead and open up the file that you've downloaded. If you're not able to do it, you might need a program like 7-Zip to do so. And make a new folder on your desktop and open it on up. After you do that, click and drag the contents from the folder that you downloaded into your empty folder. This process is the same for every emulator on the site. And after you've done that, find the EXE for the emulator and double click it and launch it. Upon launching it, you'll be greeted with errors. And this is perfectly fine. Just say OK to the first message and yes to the second. If you only get one, just answer in the affirmative. It may take a second for the emulator to actually open, but once it finally does, it'll ask you for your username and password. So you can go ahead and type in your username and password that you signed up with on the site and then go ahead and click on save password right there and then hit OK. It'll say you've successfully logged in and you'll be greeted with a little message. On the top of your emulator you'll see there's a tab right here that says retro achievements and from here you can open your user page. You, if you have a game loaded you can open the game page which will bring you to a page that will show you the achievements that are available on the game but you won't need to do that because it's also built into the emulator where you can do that and you can enable hardcore mode which will disable save states and stuff like that and it will give you hardcore achievements that you can earn. After you've done this, map your controls, and then load up a game. And once your game's open, you can hit escape, and by doing that, you can see the achievements that you can unlock in the game. And by going left and right, you can see the leaderboards and a whole bunch of other stuff. You can control through this menu using your controller, which or whichever buttons you've configured on your keyboard to use. And to get out of this menu, you hit escape one more time. Now you're set up and ready to start earning yourself some retro achievements. If this video helped, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a ton of other videos that are similar to this on emulation and a whole bunch of other subjects that you might find helpful as well. So maybe you want to check some of those out too. Peace out, homies.